Cooper's Gap Road. We're only about seven miles from the trailhead. And we got some trail activity here. Ed's getting a little bit of a Jeep experience that he'll probably never get in his real life. You think I'd bring the Silver Surfer back here? Uh, I'm the Ed. This is a whippy road. Uh, oh, it's morning one on the trail. Uh, Everybody slept good last night. Uh, Levi and Paul shared a tent. They were up late talking. I think I fell asleep about 7.30. But Levi, he's up bright and early, ready to roll. Yeah. I don't um, know why you guys would wake up. Yeah, what's up? It was like cold this morning, very cold. Levi, the stories I was told is that you were a late sleeper and we'd be hard pressed to get you going by eight in the morning. No. That was a fairy tale. Who it's told us that? <laughs> it's 8.07. Yeah, but he wanted us up way before we got up. He was walking in the dark to go get our food, and our food was, I don't know if I would have gone and got it in the dark by myself. This is the part of the trail I was worried because I said it crisscrossed with so big, a waterfall trail, the Ben Mackay Trail. So we need to, Ed, I need you to go check if there's a white blaze. When's the last time? Well, um, when's yeah. the last time you saw a white blaze? I didn't. I've been looking at Levi's back of his head the whole hike while he's oh, rambling. Oh, okay, about Levi, you. let's start That's walking. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. It's been downhill. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it, it's been downhill. Oh, my. If we have to go all the way back up there, I don't know what we're going to do. If we don't find a white blaze pretty soon, we're in trouble. I don't know. I, I don't see one down there as far as I can see, Ed. I don't see a white blaze anywhere. It's all downhill. Okay, my GPS isn't working. I don't know what we're gonna do. Levi talks to come down and see this. I guess we gotta make the last couple steps, Ed, to be real. <laughs> oh, look, he's doing the happy dance? Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you. And then look at the climb going back up. Well, it's uh, first whole day on the trail. I'm a little bit tired right now from climbing up from the waterfalls. Paul and uh, Levi are still down. I'm still tired from it. But overall, this has been the easiest hike I've been on. Um, going downhill, but everything seems like super duper groomed and also just nice. The grade's nice. I can't. This is the trail we're going to do from now on. Tomorrow. We think the good times are over. So we've been on this hike, this section of it, and it's been going straight up for like 15 minutes. And he said, We'll never forget this is the bitten. I, it's like no zigzagging, just straight hiking up. Uh, you know, you know, Levi was all up running ahead of us until we started going uphill. I'm so tired. Do we just leave him here, Paul? What do you think? Yeah, leave me. Oh, we've been that way on the trail. We'll send somebody back to get you, okay? Or just like a helicopter come pick me up. <laughs> Paul and Levi's tent up here. And it's a little ways to the water from here. But... You see how they get their own little place all by themselves. And then mine's the next one over. Um, Tuesday morning, I don't know, 7.30, we're just barely out of bed. Had to go get my food from the beer thing. Just see what you're missing here, this wonderful instant black coffee that I probably would spit it out if I was home. And uh, oatmeal, that's not, that oatmeal's actually good. That's probably, the best thing I'm going to eat all day today. I'm just telling you right now that when you think a packet of instant oatmeal is the best thing you're going to have all day, that's the beginning of your day. And look who's behind me laughing. And now it's tearing down the campsite. And Paul says after all the work we did yesterday, we only hiked eight miles. Well, it felt like a lot more than eight miles. But at least it wasn't hot. And today it's cold and... We have terrible food to eat, and I can't find a privy, so I got a good start to the day. At least the sun's shining, and we got a happy young man here with us that'll uh, keep us all in a good mood. All he wants you to know vlogging? is what's there to eat that's any good. You vlogging? No, I'm just taping myself for posterity. Hello. So Levi, yeah, yeah, see, so he's, he's our, uh, the youngest speed rapper on the trip. Well, yeah, I'm the youngest on the trip. You're the youngest on a trip, period. Yeah, you're the only rapper on a trip, too. So. That means it is. Yeah. And now I don't have my phone, because it's over here. Taping us. Oh, you did that. Funny. Man, I hiked all the way to the bathroom, repacked my pack, filled up my water, 
And I thought those guys would be waiting for me impatiently. Instead, I think they're still packing up and talking. Let's go find out. Okay, guys, I already hiked back to the car, got me another water bottle, and came back. <laughs> Did you get your water yet? Levi's working on it. Levi's working on it. I don't see Levi working on anything. Hey, we're uh, stopped on the trail in the Benton Mackay Trail. We're only one hour into our hike today. Okay, but Levi, what do you feel? How do you feel about backpacking so far? Well, I'm sick right now, and besides, it's good. Except I don't really like the. I don't really like the food, the hiking with the 20 pound pack, the sleeping, and the setting up the camp. Other than that, it's really all good. I mean, this is me walking up to Owen Vista. Well, it looks pretty cool so far. It's nice just about the first real break in the trees we've seen. Yep, we were on our way to five guys and instead, where are we? Where's Levi? I'm, Puking I'm off the side of the cliff. Jeep. Well, Paul has to find out just how close we can get to impossibly stuck in the woods without being impossibly stuck in the woods. Probably you're already there. What, stuck in the he said, I think we can make it. That's what's gonna come back.